Hi, welcome back to our spring cleaning stave clear out here. So I've got a last batch of wood. I got 12 pieces. Um, and for simplicity, I'm doing $100 Canadian each, which is about $80, $78 to $80 US. Um, yeah, let's go through. Up first, stave one, 83 inches. Definite character stave. Lots going on here. Pin knots, groupings, that growth there. So yeah, definitely challenging piece of wood, um, but has the potential to be something really special. Beautiful tight grain wood, and pipe straight in both directions. So fun project, lots of wood there to go with. Uh, 83 inches, 100 bucks. Number two, debarked. There we go, nice and pretty straight. Maybe a bend, maybe not. Pretty clean, and then starts getting more character. Little group in the middle there, and then a little pin knot group out there. But still, definitely a nice straight uh, piece. Good to make an English longbow. 78 inches. And number three, uh, the rest, I believe, are all various levels of deflex. So, yeah, whether you choose to do a deflex longbow or a recurve, longbow or cut it down for a recurve flat bow, um, but definitely a good opportunity to get your hands on some premium quality wood. If you ever wanted to work to you, um, yeah, this could be a good chance. I'm going to try and run through these quickly. Uh, three, 80 inches. Pretty straight, maybe a slight bend to the left. Bit of deflex. Nice grain. Four, uh, 80 inches. Deflex, a bit thicker sapwood, and really straight through the handle. So they're nice and long, so you got lots of options cutting them down. Four, 80 inches, and five, bigger chunk of wood, a little half log. Um, nice and straight, nice clean back, and yeah, a little bit of deflex. Number six, 82 inches, bit more deflex. I would say this is the most of the group. Real tight, tight grain, tight sapwood, um, and straight alignment through the handle. Little knot there, couple bumps, but yeah, nice piece of wood. Six, 82 inches, and number seven, uh, 80 inches. Pretty straight. A lot of these have just beautiful tight grained old growth wood. Um, but with you wood, we get a lot of deflect, just the way they split and dry. So I'm not building a lot of recurves this day, so I want to pass them on and get them out there. Um, yeah, number eight. A little dog leg at the end. Everything's long, so I think we're, everything's 79 to 80 inches. Number nine, deflex, nice and straight, really wide piece of wood. So it could be paddle bows in here, could be flat bows, lots of options. Nine, 79 inches, uh, 10 and 11, two smaller ones matching. Uh, this was one piece that was sawn in half. Pretty clean, I think both of these are actually really clean. Um, and beautiful wood, and just a pretty gentle, gentle, even deflex throughout the length. So 10, 11, the last 12, 76 inches. Uh, this must be a piece of second growth wood. The, oh, maybe not. The growth rings are still pretty tight. Colors aren't quite as punchy. A little bit more faded. But yeah, nice little half branch or half log of you there, um, 76 inches long, and pretty straight actually, gentle S through it, but yeah, fun project. So there they are, um, thanks a lot for looking, and hopefully we can get these out into some bow makers' hands and make good use of them. So 100 bucks, let me know what you're interested, thanks a lot.